Okay, I've loaded my data into Insight VIT. I've dragged and dropped the variable agia, uh, respondents age, into the variable one slot. I'm going to click on analyze. Uh, I'm going to select mean as my quantity uh, and I've input a sample size of 100. I'll click on record my choice. And you'll see on the panel on the right hand side uh, I've got a histogram of the distribution of values for that variable. And it'll also tell me uh, where that variable is taken, the file that that variable has been taken from. And you'll see the panel on the right hand side now has uh, three sections, population, sample and sampling distribution. I'm going to ask it to draw five samples, size 100, uh, from the population. I'll click on Go. First of all, the sample is selected. Then it's dropped down and the mean of that sample is calculated, represented by a thick blue bar, which then fades as the next sample is selected. The same thing happens again, and we gradually build up a picture of a sampling distribution. The sampling distribution is represented by the spread of blue bars as they build up. Uh, if you select a small number of repetitions, you can see the whole process visually, like this. On the other hand, if you select a large number of repetitions, the whole thing goes much faster and the visual demonstration is, is, not, is of course not quite so clear. I'll just give you a quick demonstration of that. You can also uh, include a sampling distribution directly. Uh, uh, let's just take um, a sampling distribution with collecting five samples. The same thing happens, but this time, each time the sample mean is calculated, it's dropped down as a dot onto the sampling distribution dot plot. Uh, let's do that another few times. And if we do that a large number of times, you gradually build up a, a dot plot come histogram of the actual sampling distribution. I can also draw uh, a fit a curve to that distribution.